Hey there, welcome back to Hackout. So in this video, we're diving into the game-changing technique, turning Google Sheets into the dynamic API endpoint using the power of Google's APIs with a spotlight on updating your own API key. So whether it's for real-time data and maps, analytics in Sheets, or file management with Drive, the journey starts here. So let's get started. So generating Google API key. So let's embark on this adventure by steering through the Google Cloud Platform, your ultimate control panel for tapping into the Google's vast API network. So this is the URL which we need to go through. Uh, this is console.cloud.google.com. So here, once you land here, you need to create a project. Uh, since uh, the first time if you land, you, you don't have any project ready here. So I already had some project here. So, but let's start with creating a new project. So name it as you want and name it as test. So choose your project. Once it gets created, we can choose it. Yeah, now we should go to the API and services and library and search for the API we want. So I'm searching for Google Sheet API. So let's go here and enable this API. This is getting enabled. So yeah, now we have this API enabled. So here, go to credentials. We have to cre uh, create credentials and that is, uh, we should select API key. And it creates API key for us. So here, so we got an API key created. So let's have it copied somewhere. So yeah, that's how you get a Google API key. The next thing is transforming your Google Sheet to the API. So simple thing, you just need to uh, replace the spreadsheet ID with spreadsheet ID and sheet name with sheet name and API key with API key. So let's do that. I have a sample uh, Google Sheet ready here. So I'm just copying that Google Sheet link so here, what is the spreadsheet ID? So this part is called a spreadsheet ID in the URL. So have it ready somewhere. Uh, so I'm just replacing this. So yeah, what is the sheet name here now? The one which is here is the sheet name. So I'm picking a sales data. So here last step is to replace the API key. Yeah, and then we have this link ready. Before that, we need to ensure that the sheet is shared and anyone with the link is accessible. This permission we should give. And then let's try to hit the link we created. So yeah, now we have this uh, data represented in JSON format. That's how we create a API using Google Sheets. So, and there you have it. Your very own Google Sheet acting as an API endpoint, unlocking new dimension of possibilities for your applications. So, but why stop here? With your API key, let's explore the realms of Google Maps, Drives, and beyond to enhance your projects. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Hackwork. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more important data and content. If you have any questions,